Hey Trailblazers, Layla here, daring you to rise up in life and business. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing really, really well. Um, I think the Facebook is working, the live stream. Basically, I've got loads of things <laughs> that this laptop is sitting on and I'm not quite sure if it's gonna be totally secure with what it's on. So, uh, yeah, hey guys, how is everything going? I hope you're doing really well. Um, on this Tuesday, it doesn't feel like a Tuesday, it feels more like a a Thursday, it's been pretty full on at my end with loads and loads of um, fantastic, heartwarming and really powerful uh, conversations and coaching sessions and so on. So um, say hi if you are dropping on, hashtag life is today if you are checking out the replay. Um, I've got quite a bit to share today. Um, I did, it's quite funny to me anyway, but um, I did a live stream q a in my trailblazers in a circle from my tribe which was awesome and i kind of felt like i want to jump on here and do a live stream and share some content as well and um i didn't know what i wanted to talk about so i've just been dancing away and just shared it on my insta story i was like oh i don't know what i'm going to talk about but i think i have the message so i'm going to share some content here with you guys uh just drop a message say hi drop a comment below if you do have any questions post them as well and I will answer them either whilst I'm live or I'll come back on to the comments afterwards and um, answer those. Please do share this as well because you never know who needs to hear this. So today's conversation is going to be about getting out of your own way for success. It's really inspired by a conversation that I had with a lady in Abu Dhabi earlier today and um, she her, her business, so this is actually for, it, it's real, sorry it's relevant to everybody but actually specifically it would be for those who are creators coaches mentors teachers authors who have a message on their heart and um, and have a business where they really want to help other people through their work and she it was really cool because her business is about sleep consultancy for children for new babies and it was just a really fascinating conversation um, but she is feeling held back and stuck in actually moving forward and sharing her message and kind of reaching a wider audience. And um, we talked about how, you know, like she was talking about live streams and not wanting to do videos and so on. And this is one of the most common questions that I get. And um, the way that I deal with it is at the end of the day, and this is a core message, right? At the end of the day, we have to get out of our own way, regardless of whether we feel comfortable or not, because what we have to share is so much more important, right? The message is far more important than the discomfort we feel and the fears that we might we might be going through. Um, it's not to dismiss the fears and the stories and the illusions that we all experience, but there's a place for that, right? And so this is where coaching work comes in really powerfully and inner work because you have that time and that container to actually work through the fears. In the meantime though, for those of us that are creators and teachers and mentors and authors, um, entrepreneurs, where we have a message to share, we've got to get out of our own way to remember that this is about, it's not about, um, it's not about us, it's about the audience. I've just got to check something, it's so funny when these things happen. Right, I'm going to get back to that message later. So, um, you know, when we get out of our own way for success and we do the things that we are, you know, worried about, stressed about, fear, fearful around, when we actually step into that space of acknowledging that there is that discomfort, but we're willing to do something about it, acknowledge it with love. Uh, yes, exactly. Um, Pratiba, I really hope I pronounced your name properly. It's a beautiful name, thank you. Yes, inner work, exactly. Um, you know, when we can just put the fears to one side and work through them, and I teach a process in my book in one on one plus ways, which is really just feeling the, the emotion and feeling the fear, um, embracing what that fear is kind of teaching you, accepting that it exists rather than pushing it away and then releasing it. Simple process, simple process, um, which can actually release fear just like that. And so when we do the inner work to put that to one side, 
and we remember that we are a messenger. Awesome, so glad. Um, when we realize that we're a messenger, as in somebody who has a message to teach, somebody who has something to share that is actually going to help another person to move the needle, to shift in the direction that they want to, um, we have to just show up, right? We have to just show up. Now, complete transparency, last night, I think it was about nine o'clock, um, maybe it was about 9.30, I really wanted to jump on and do a live, but I, again, I kind of knew what I wanted to speak about, but I didn't do it. And I went to bed and I thought, you know what, this is something that somebody needed to hear, right? And so that kind of just sat sat with me for a little while, um, you know, and, and what it did is, it wasn't a major thing, but it kind of just sat with me that, oh, okay, you could have just done, done the live, whatever comes out, comes out, whoever's meant to hear it is going to hear it. We can have this kind of nonchalant attitude about things like live streams. Thank you, great video um, from uh, Pratiba. <laughs> um, you know, so it's not about, like, this isn't about me. This is about the message that needs to reach the person that it needs to reach in order to help that person shift and do what they need to do. This is why I write the, the posts that I do and the posts are more because I just want to share my heart and soul um, with whatever message it is that wants to come through me. And it goes the same with business. It goes the same with whatever your expertise is in, with whatever it is that you are here to teach and share and help others and inspire others with as well. Things like live streams are not that big of a deal. Once you start doing them and you get the fears out of the way, thank you, yes, people need to hear you. Absolutely, I honestly, it's so, so powerful because I think about the people, you know, my teachers and mentors and people that I follow and, and just the random videos, the random, the synchronistic videos and podcasts and, you know, audios that come up in my world. And it's like, that's actually exactly what I needed to hear. And it's come from somebody who just decided to show up, right? There's so much more value in that. There is so much more value in that. Now, what that does is that gives the person who needs to hear that message, the value and, and the thing they needed, whatever that is. But it also gives you, the person who's sharing that message, it inspires more, it inspires. From that action, it inspires deeper self-belief, deeper self-confidence, um, integrity, which is really, really big. Now, for myself, again, some transparency, I've always been like, you know, full on with my integrity. It's one of my core values. And uh, for a couple of years, I really slipped. I really slipped in kind of honoring my own word. And I'm still picking up the pieces from that and coming back to a space of alignment and integrity. And it feels amazing, right? It feels amazing to be able to say, um, awesome, Bruce says uh, he's motivated and listening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So awesome to have you here, my friends. Um, you know, and so being out of integrity and being out of alignment the past few years has really affected my self-confidence and my self-belief. Now, it's my own responsibility to kind of, I'm describing it as in to clean up my own mess, right? Um, and so there's inner work that goes with that. There's action that goes with that. And that's the thing. When we don't take action, we fall out of alignment with ourselves, right? When we don't take action, we, we kind of say we're going to do it. And it kind of um, scratches the surface of integrity, this core value. And we start to lose that confidence. We start to lose that self-belief. We start to buy into the story of whatever it is that we stopped saying or said that we were going to do and, you know, and so on. So it's actually not taking action. It's actually a really, really um, important aspect of being successful and creating your own success. We have to show up. We have to show up. And when we choose to show up with integrity and in alignment, magic happens. And to some people, this might be nothing, but the comments here are everything to me, right? That's magic. Like, I love that, that I've just come on to share a few words and, and, and it resonates. Now it's not going to resonate with everybody. I don't have that expectation. I have the expectation that the right people are going to hear what needs to be heard and they're going to feel into it and they're going to take it from there, right? If this is resonating, just drop a comment below and let me know. That would be awesome. If you do have any questions, please do share them as well. Um, and please do share. So um, the other thing as well is when you are sharing your message, when you get out of your own way, you're doing what you're here to do. 
you're reaching the people that you need to, you're actually also growing your business, you're also growing your audience and building um, a really beautiful relationship with your audience. Now, I love my trailblazers. We have some amazing trailblazers who have been with me literally from day dot. And, you know, and the tribe keeps growing and there's so many authentic, real conversations that are happening. And to me, that means the world. It's about the conversation. There's so much curiosity and inquisitiveness and, you know, an absolute desire to want to help others because when we're all helping each other, we're, when we're all helping each other, we're keeping the spirit of community alive, right? And so my trailblazers, I love my tribe. Um, awesome, Pratiba says, yes, see? I said your name there. There was a bit of a flow, which I'm really happy about. Um, you know, and so you want to connect, you want to connect and share your message and connect with those who are going through what you used to go through, because when you have a message to share, it's inevitably come, inevitably come from where you were at anyway, and you have that wisdom to share. Um, and how powerful is that, right? But it's also like a stepping stone for you to step up into your next level. And that comes from sharing what you're going to share and letting it be, right? Like, for example, this topic, I might talk about it. I mean, I do talk about this quite a bit, but I'm probably not going to do a video on it because I've already done a video. I might do something about it in a couple of years time. But for the time being, this is this is the message being released and shared and, and out there, right? And so what that's doing for myself is that it's letting me grow deeper into my soul growth and let me just release what needs to be released so I can step into the next lesson um, that needs to come through, right? So for everyone listening, it's the same for you. I did a video, in fact, a couple of weeks ago on release to receive, which was received really, really well. Um, and there's some really powerful content in there as well. So definitely check it out. But it is about release, let it go, get out of your own way. Let the person that needs to hear the message that you have on your heart to just hear what you need to say help them move along um, and, you know, do what you've got to do to keep that cycle of um, community helping each other, keep moving and keep growing. Cool. I think that's a message. So remember that action inspires self-confidence and self-belief and it inspires deeper soul growth within you as well. So if you do have any questions, drop them uh, below. If you're watching the replay, hashtag life is today. Please do share this with your audience, with your friends. Like I said, you never know who needs to hear this. You really have no idea behind the screens who needs to hear this. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, and then just before I jump off as well, I'm going to be launching my Get It Done in 2021 program. And it's going to be a workshop where I show you how to be productive and effective with your time, getting things done, getting your message out there just kind of really um, stepping into your success in an authentic way. So DM me for it, for details and for the price as well. It's one of my low end uh, programs and we're, we're launching that at the moment. Alrighty, so uh, let's just check in with some of the comments. Yes, Pratiba and Aaron, always nice to hear on a different perspective for someone else. Awesome, thank you so much, Aaron. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I don't think I think outside of the box, um, but it's nice that that is definitely appreciated and heard and seen as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so it's the evening here. Um, enjoy your evening, enjoy your day, whatever you are up to, and thank you so much for being here. Oh, and as always, remember, life is today. Follow your heart, it knows the way. I will speak to you soon. Take care, bye.